is a growing problem that's becoming even more prevalent than Lyme disease in many parts of the U.S. It's transmitted by the deer tick, just like Lyme disease, but is a distinctly different bacteria. The symptoms include high fever, lack of energy, loss of appetite, painful and swollen joints, diarrhea, and vomiting. Once contracted, the disease will eventually deplete total platelet count and white blood cells. Untreated, it can lead to chronic joint pain and other disorders in your animals. Since it's contracted via the same insect as Lyme disease, it's possible for your dog to have both Lyme disease and anaplasmosis. The good news is that both diseases are readily diagnosed with simple blood tests that your veterinarian can perform in their own offices. The results are usually available within 10 minutes. However, your vet may well want to order additional tests including urinalysis, complete blood count, and chemistry profile, as well as other tests depending on the circumstances your dog finds himself in. When dealt with early, many to most animals will fully recover. The key is early detection. Treatment is a twice daily course of antibiotics administered over a 30 day period. At this time, there are no vaccines for anaplasmosis in dogs. The best preventative is to use frontline or a similar tick and flea collars and a daily tick check if your dog is outdoors on a routine basis. Since no prevention regime is 100% effective, an annual checkup for anaplasmosis is recommended as a backstop. The early stages of the disease, as with Lyme disease, are less symptomatic and thus harder to detect. You need to keep an eye on your dog and pay attention to any changes in behavior that they exhibit that may serve as early warning signs. In the upper Midwest, where I live, the tick season runs from March through November. Be sure to use preventative such as frontline throughout the season and get annual checkups for your dogs just to be sure. And if you happen to be in the Park Rapids area of Minnesota, check in with the ARC Animal Hospital for additional information as well as loving and professional care for your dog. This is Earl Netwall on behalf of the ARC Animal Hospital in Park Rapids wishing you and your dog a long and healthy life. Bye-bye.